This is a fort inside the French harbour of Toulon on the Mediterranean coast. There are a number of these dotting the headlands. So it's a lovely old stone structure, quite simple, uh, as there were many of them to combine their effect. I don't know if they were ever used in anger, but it's a lovely shape, a lovely stone wall with a bit of foliage as contrast. And I thought with some nice shadows to play with, with some hatching. So I start trying to get the, the curve of the top of the tower and get the proportions of this drum shape correct. I make these three, I won't call them windows, they're, they're where the cannons would have come out, but these three holes for the cannons, I make them all just slightly too large, which does have unfortunately the effect of reducing the apparent scale of the fort, I think. So that's something I need to be aware of for next time. This tree is a wonderful contrast in both line and in tone. So I'm planning to make this a fairly dark value, both to represent the shade and shadow and also the darker local color of the tree itself. So I'm placing these windows, uh, trying to keep the scale consistent with the first one that I've drawn, since I can't do anything about that one, and also to reflect the curvature of the outer wall. I'm now working out where this line is. It's, I'm really just feeling my way. Notice I haven't drawn the right hand side of the fort until about now. I probably should have made it slightly further away. This is the right place I think for drawing it actual size with the reference, but I probably should have tried to draw it a little bit larger to compensate for the drawing of those cannon holes a bit too large and that may have brought things back on scale. A small tower in the back here. This foliage behind is going to give me a wonderful opportunity to put some really dark values around that right hand side and hopefully pop the fort forward. Even though it's in quite a bit of shade on that right hand side, I'm going to exaggerate I think the, the shadow on the foliage and just still make the fort come forward a bit Here's the French tricolour, as we say in English. Notice that I've made the red the darkest colour because I think the red is a, uh, in terms of uh, local colour, is actually the darker value than the blue. I actually practiced that flag beforehand just to see the best way to have it hang on the pole. Again, it's slightly too large, but it is very late in the day here and I'm probably feeling a bit weary. So now I, I rough in that tree and now there's a fair bit of fiddling down here on the base of the fort where the seawall is constructed. And in a moment I need to start working out how I'm going to represent the stone effect. I'm afraid I had the camera turned off for a good part of that so it's all suddenly going to appear. but. As I've talked in some other videos with this one, I think the horizontal line of the stonework is visually more prominent than anything else. So I, I do a few lines to represent that. The stones in this are relatively small, so I don't want to do them too large, but they're also irregular. So I want to convey the fact that these aren't courses of dressed stone stacked on top of each other, and some of the mortar has eroded at greater rates than others and so there are shadows being cast also at parts that accentuate the size of the stones or have picked up if they're on the seawall have picked up more more marine growth and a darker stain so it all suddenly just appeared there um, notice I also kept that left hand wall of the fort left wall of the fort very light, perhaps just a little bit too light, but sometimes it's good to vary our to vary our line intensity and thickness to reflect the way light bounces off and almost reduces lines to to nothing in some parts. So now I'm working on the shadow of this foliage behind the fort. There's this tall pointy conifer and some other things. 
You'll notice that with the Canon, I didn't put the foliage so close to it because I just wanted to keep it a bit, a bit more distinct since it's a fairly significant indicator of what this structure really is. So I do intend to do hatching for the tone. And I, again, actually did a little trial before I started with doing the hatching lines either vertically or horizontally. Generally, I prefer to hatch rather than cross hatch, although sometimes cross hatching does work better. It just depends a bit on the form that we're wanting to create a tonal effect on. So I do horizontal ones because I do feel that they're going to be easier to control for the variation that I want. And they do reflect the fact that the walls are straight. And so I'm also playing around with the sea wall as well, where I do have to get this staining done with additional line work. And you'll notice that I don't just use the additional hatching for the stained areas, but some of the stones have actually become darker. And in other parts, the spaces where the mortar is washed out has become darker. So I do try to put marks to reflect both of those scenarios. The important thing is to try and keep the marks we do fairly random, not to start to do too much in any one place, because then we can end up filling the whole thing, which usually doesn't work as well as letting some spaces be just suggested for the stonework. Now I'm still to come back and make this hatching a bit darker. So this is just some initial hatching. I'm working on the seawall because it's the darker point. And now putting some hatching over this vegetation just so that it looks a little more complete compared to the rest of the line work. It was certainly a glorious day to be on the harbour in Toulon. Working on foliage now. I'm stepping back and having a bit of a longer look at this at a couple of points just to see did I want to make any significant changes. And then I decide it's done. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. I hope you found this interesting. If you want to have a go drawing this yourself, you'll find the reference on my channel community page. But whatever you draw and however you're drawing it, have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.